The health of Minnesota waters is constantly being monitored, but a new program is taking a deeper look at our streams and the creatures that inhabit them. Charlene Malin has the story. The MPCA is going fishing. Instead of a fishing pole, they're using a metal ring. Instead of a hook and bait, they use electricity. Michael Kelly is a biologist with the MPCA and says it's all part of their most extensive study of Minnesota watersheds. The sampling's done because we really have no idea what's going on in our streams and rivers across the state, and this is kind of the baseline information to see if they're impaired or if they're healthy. Um, nothing's really known about a lot of these sites. They're real small streams for the most part. Each year, teams go to different watersheds for sampling to create a baseline for the health of each watershed. This is the third year in a 10-year cycle, and the research will continue. Ten years from now, we'll be back in the St. Louis watershed sampling these same sites, so we can get a picture of what's changed over those 10 years. They start with basic water chemistry. pH, yep. 8.26. And then move on to fishing using this backpack and pole. The backpack has a generator that sends an electric pulse through the pole, which acts like a stun gun, but doesn't hurt the fish. The fish are attracted to that positive end, the, that ring in front, and they get close enough and they basically get knocked out, and that's when I was netting the fish. This is called biological monitoring. And scientists can get a better idea of how healthy the watershed is by studying the creatures that live in it. Fish are taken back on shore, 53 long ones. sorted by species, counted and weighed. They're 95 grams. They look for a lot of different kinds of fish and lots of different sizes. So how did we do today? Today's finding was pretty good. I think we had 11 species, um, right around 300 fish, and a lot of good species to be seen in a river. Two of each species of fish are sent back to the lab and the rest are released back into the stream. But there's more work to be done. This is just the first half of the program. They're also sampling for invertebrates like bugs. So they'll be back to this exact same site in August. Researchers have to wait until the insect larva has hatched before sampling, which happens in late summer. Bugs are another way to judge the health of the watershed. Once all the data is collected, final results come back in about a year and a half. The MPCA hopes this new program will be a big step to keep Minnesota waters clean. Charlene Malin for Eyewitness News.